minutes. Thank you. Thanks, Lakshmi. Thanks a lot for your very kind remarks. And it's, let me say, what a great pleasure it is for me to be here. Um, two or three days ago, Dr. Mohan Diwan and myself had a chat on the phone trying to decide what today's topic meant and what we were supposed to speak on. And um, I must say that we ultimately, at, at least I, reached the conclusion that we were to take our own interpretation of this topic. And although Lakshmi did try to explain it in the introduction and used words like leveraging and optimizing, etc., frankly, I don't understand those words and I don't deal with those words. And um, I must say that uh, what I intended to do today in 10 minutes, 10 minutes is like trying to show you the Himalayas in a burst of lightning, very difficult. Um, what I'll just concentrate on are some recent trends in intellectual property uh, enforcement, which make the entire exercise either worth it or worthless. So um, let me concentrate on those. I've got shortage of time, so I'll kind of appear a little rushed. I may not be able to develop everything, but perhaps in question answers we can develop. Now, I'll deal with seven trends, sorry, eight trends, five positive, three negative. And let me start. First and foremost, the time revolution. And it's very important that you know that there was a time when litigation would take a long, long time. And that's been compressed very substantially. And there are about four or five reasons or changes which have um, been the cause for this great revolution, one of which is that the Code of Civil Procedure was amended and streamlined in 2002, the effects of which started getting felt in two or three years. In 2005, there were certain changes to our IP laws, particularly the Patents Act, and there were some decisions of the Supreme Court in 2010, where the Supreme Court was bold enough to say that intellectual property litigation should be finished in four months' time. And when the Supreme Court said that, everybody chuckled. The High Court judges chuckled. They wouldn't believe it. But at the end of the day, everybody aspires to go to the Supreme Court. So they followed. And there came to, to be created what is known as a four-month order. In the Delhi High Court particularly, you can get a schedule laid down by, by which Evidence is filed on affidavits and cross-examination is done before a retired judge, not before the regular uh, judge who has a congested diary. And you sit in an executive center and you record evidence. Mr. Chandrasekhar is sitting here. He was a witness. I had cross-examined him in the executive center and his entire evidence lasted just two hearings. So that's how quickly you finish. So in four months' time, you finish the entire evidence and you're back in the court. I won't talk more on this. This is trend one, a happy trend. Another positive is the remedies revolution. The kind of remedies we get in, have been getting from Indian courts, right from Anton Pillar orders and Mariva injunctions which, by which assets are frozen to John Doe orders where you don't know the defendant and are still able to conduct raids against unknown parties in a civil action and, and so on till 2005 when we had our first damages action in the Time magazine case. And the court said not only must compensatory damages be granted but punitive and exemplary damages as well because it is high time that the pressure on the criminal justice delivery system should be shifted to the civil justice delivery system. And the civil system can only be made attractive if damages are granted. When that diktat was laid down, after that, we thought that there would be a lull, but there wasn't. In fact, as of now, almost about 170 decisions from then, 2005 to now, about 170 decisions on damages have come from the Delhi High Court. And that's a lot. Most of them, of course, are copyright and trademarks, but now, growingly, some in patents as well. Very few, but there are a few in patents. 
and the trend, those decisions together lay down a set of rules which are going to apply. And of course, it's a growing field. So every new